Hi, I'm Audrey. I'm a sophomore and I'm a part of the Owasso West High School Orchestra. These are some pictures of me playing the violin from third grade until now. I have had the opportunity to play in recitals, quartets, orchestras both in and out of school, as well as participating in state solo ensemble and the state honors orchestra. I love the challenges that violin brings and it allows me to express my emotions that are hard for me to express verbally. When I was younger, I was diagnosed with a severe congenital heart condition called Tetralogy of Fallot with pulmonary atresia and MAPCAS, and it's the rarest form of my condition, and I've had many procedures and open heart surgeries to help fix my heart. I was first diagnosed with my condition in 2007 and have had open heart surgeries and upwards of six procedures with my most recent one this past April. These first few pictures were during my first open heart surgery. The next couple are from my last three procedures in the span of less than three years. Life as a teenager with congenital heart defects is a constant concern and even though some of these pictures might make it seem like my procedures were far apart, I need routine checkups to make sure my condition is not progressing. With my condition, I am limited physically on what I am able to do. It is frustrating because I want to keep up with other kids my age, but my condition prohibits me from doing so. It's even harder whenever I have a procedure because I can be out of sports anywhere from two to six weeks. Not only that, but I experience symptoms easily. It doesn't happen as much now, but when I was younger, my lips would t turn blue and purple whenever I would swim. Oftentimes, I sleep a lot before my procedures because my heart is working overtime. I struggle with my endurance as well and I experience shortness of breath easily. I am also easily prone to different illnesses, especially in winter. Sicknesses that don't really affect other children have put me in the hospital multiple times and can cause increased stress on my heart. I have to worry about taking medication daily and before dental procedures to help prevent complications. It's a continual struggle and I never know when symptoms will arise and when I might have to have another major surgery. These are images of my heart taken during my procedures. You can see some of the parts that were put in place to help my heart function properly. Fortunately, almost all of my surgeries and procedures were performed at the Herma Heart Institute at Milwaukee Children's Hospital due to the specialized treatments available and the expert care given by staff. For example, when I have procedures and stay the night, there's a nurse dedicated to just me and another child and we are watched around the clock. Also, all of the staff are very nice and different adults are able to meet different needs of patients and their families. Social workers, therapists, and different programs that allow patients to socialize are some of the amazing things offered here. The stress that is often present in hospital stays is eased due to the comforting nature of hospital staff. They don't focus on your illness and make it their priority to get to know you as a person. With the extensive research and technological advancements that are offered at the Herma Heart Institute, I was able to receive treatment that was less invasive and that allowed me to get back to doing the things I love sooner. Not only that, but Herma Heart is equipped to deal with adults who have congenital heart defects. Herma also values the importance of teaching and you can often find new doctors gaining experience. This just shows the depth and the level of expertise that is present here. I hope that you choose to support the Herma Heart Institutes tonight so that other children like me can receive quality treatment and they can live a fuller life. These upcoming videos are to show what I can do now because of the care I received at Herma Heart.